Hello guys, welcome to my part 2 tutorial for Guardian Roots. Uh, Guardian is a basic uh, priority system. It is important to be maximizing the procs and using our damage abilities on cooldown to generate high amount of rage while maintaining our active mitigation. Like I explained in the preview video, Gore has a chance to reset cooldown of Mangle and cause to generate more rage, so it's important to track the procs from Mangle and to get the most of it. With Galactic Guardian Talented, you want to watch for the proc of Moonfire and use it as often as possible. So in this video, we will see how to execute a rotation. We will divide the guide in four parts, how to play defensive, offensive, how to play cat weaving, and how to survive as long as you can. If you need to play defensive, you need to execute this following priority. Before we get into this rotation, I invite you guys to watch in the middle of my screen. You can see my character panel. Just above my HP bar, you can see all the procs. Mostly you will see Mango, Moonfire, and Iron 4, and you will see also Pulverize. Alright, let's get over the rotation now. It is important to cast Moonfire whenever it's blocked. Cast Mangle on cooldown. Cast Trash on cooldown. Cast Pulverize. Maintain it up all the time. And cast Swipe as a feeder. If you don't need mitigation at the end of this rotation, and you still have rage left. You can cast mole for additional damage, but mostly it will be used to maintain iron for uptime. Now take a 15 second and pay attention to my action bar at the bottom of my screen and see all the bottom lineups. I press them immediately. It's that easy. You simply have to cast trash on cooldown and swipe as a feeder and just use your head, you know? Whenever you're gonna take extra damage, you know? All right, let's use Iron 4. You know you're gonna take consistent damage? Use Mole, that simple. And one more last thing. If you look at my Rage Regeneration, it's really good because I'm on three targets. But on one target, you get less generation of Rage. So it's important, depending on how many targets is attacking you, you need to pay attention to not dump all your rage. So you can always be preventive about an important attack on you. The offensive rotation is kinda similar, but instead of placing Moonfire as our first priority, we want to instead prioritize Mangle and Trash on cooldown. And whenever Moonfire proc is up, you're gonna use a third. Maintain Pulverize uptime, and then cast Swipe as a feeder. And whenever you need to dump the Rage, make sure to not cap, cast Mole. Now let's get over the Cat Weaving with Feral Affinity. In Cat Farm, you will have different abilities, such as Rip, Rake, Shred, Ferocious Bite, and Trash. Cat Weaving is a very simple rotation. You need to maintain in top priority RIP. It's a bleed effect that lasts 24 seconds. You need 5 combo points though. The second dot ability is called Rake. It generates 1 combo point and lasts for 15 seconds. So generally you want to start with casting Shred to generate combo points, apply Rake, and then you want to apply Trash. And go for Shred, 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 and then apply your rip ability. Then at this point, uh, you want to refresh rip on the second application, maintain trash and rake uptime. If you feel like your target is gonna die before, you can always furious uh, bite the target as a finishing move. Note that cat weaving is mostly used um, when you're not tanking, of course. If you know you're gonna take a lot of damage or you're, you're going to have to tank in like 10 seconds, don't even swap. Just stay in bear farm and keep going with your rotation, normal rotation. Ideally, you want to go cat weaving for a period above 30 seconds or at the beginning of an encounter. 
I still think this is a poor decision to go cat waving uh, at this point of the tier. Uh, so I don't think it's a really strong alternative. Alright, so let's see what it is when you're fighting an enemy. Well, this tree, you're gonna say, he is really weak. But the longer you tank him, the more he grows. So he will get stronger and hit you harder. At the beginning, I don't take a lot of damage, but I'm using mitigation. I have Parise up, I have Iron for up, and I just keep doing my normal single target rotation. Cast Mangle whenever it's up, and cast Trash whenever it's up, and then if you have Moonfire proc, cast it, then go with Swipe as a filler, and whenever you feel like you have too much rage, you can dump one mole, and then apply one Iron for but at this point you don't take any damage later on the fight i will start to take more damage and now i will start to use frenzy regeneration this will allow me to regenerate maximum five percent of my hp pool so you cannot use it like it's not it's not good to use it when you're like at 50 percent as soon as you start losing let's say 10 percent of your hp try to use it as much as you can so the next stack refresh you know and you get early on also you want to use iron um, bar skin i mean bar skin as much as you can uh, pretty much off cooldown if you have like on cooldown i mean if you have like uh, no damage consistent on you like maybe it's not worth it if you're always full but as soon as you start taking like damage and you see your hp pool going like below 50 percent go on and start using it frequently uh if you know that you will take like magic damage that is like gonna take off your hp survival instincts is always a good choice Outside of that, you want to use uh, always your legendary. Remember, your legendary will use uh, leech, will give you 25% leech, will give you armor, and will increase your damage. So it's pretty good to time it well, or use it on cooldown depending if you need it. For this time here, I was not using it early. I was waiting for like when I get a low HP, like. 70% to regenerate more ma of my HP with Frenzy Regeneration. As you can see too, I keep going with uh, all my, my mitigation uptime, you know, like they're always up and they're always rolling. I refresh them uh, usually when they have like 3 seconds left. If you notice too, uh, because I'm on a single target, I don't generate a lot of rage. That's why I'm not using swipe as a feeder. I have to time my things better to maintain my survivability to last till the end of the of the fight. At this point, I keep rolling on my frenzy regeneration and my iron for at all time. Let's fast forward a little bit the video. So now you can see uh, I'm losing like a lot of HP and I cannot keep up with the incoming damage. So now I have to really play defensive. So I don't use mold at all. And like I try to maximize my rage as much as I can. Not to do mistakes, you know. Try to use all my mitigation uh, buttons when I need to. So frenzy regeneration is like always Whenever it's come up, I use it. Whenever I can do an iron for, I do it. Whenever bars can come up, I use it. You know, like, I don't... I don't wait. At this point, I just keep rolling. I have a lot of damage coming on me. And I doubt that, like, a tank who is, like, poorly geared right now could survive all this time. My DPS is still good, I mean 350k DPS on single target for that long of a fight. Uh, I mean, you have to prioritize sometimes your mitigation instead of your DPS to make it a win. Alright guys, this concludes the second part of my guide uh, for Guardian Roots. Uh, that is about the rotation and the playstyle. Um, if you have any question, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Um, outside of that, you can drop a like and if you never 
if you did not subscribe yet, you can always subscribe. Alright, stay tuned. Uh, for the next part of my video, which is part 3, I will try to cover stat priority, races, gear and consumables, and um, interface and macro and Wikora. So, stay tuned.